excited? Yeah, I don't want to cry. The day I found out I was going to go up in a hot air balloon, I was completely overwhelmed and just so grateful. But it wasn't until about a year later on my 30th birthday that I finally got to go up in the hot air balloon. This is footage from that day. I was speechless, and that's hard to do. You know, I speak for a living. Um, we have, uh, I can't even, I'm like getting so excited, but she also like emotional. It. So we have a KISS 105.3 hot air balloon. And uh, that has been something that has been at the top of my bucket list my entire life, but more so shortly after my grandpa passed away. I called him Papa. I'm going to get so sad now. Um, when my grandpa was in the hospital, uh, he was in uh, palliative care, and he had he had a nice big window. And out that window, um, for some reason, while he was in palliative care, there was this one hot air balloon that would float by. Every time that I visited him, there it was again, the hot air balloon. And it was like one of those moments that we got to share, um, some of our last moments that we got to share while I was holding his hand, and he would crack a smile. And um, at the beginning, he would say, Look, there it is. There it is again, the hot air balloon. And then at the end, when he couldn't really talk anymore, um, he would just squeeze my hand tighter when he saw the hot air balloon. So, oh no, I don't want to cry on the air, but... That's, um, that's okay. I've always wanted to get a tattoo of a hot air balloon. I've always had those moments. Now, even here in, uh, in Ottawa, when I see a hot air balloon, mm -hmm. call me crazy, but it'll be on those days when I'm having a tough day. And uh, I just need, like, that something. And I'll see a hot air balloon. And it'll remind me of my papa. And everything will be okay. So I've, I've always wanted to take a ride in a hot air balloon. And uh, the boss gave me passes today so yeah. we could go. <laughs> that cut of audio was the live stream on KISS 105.3 in Ottawa. There was a moment when I was floating over the city of Ottawa and it was just completely calm, so quiet. The sun was rising and I honestly felt like he was standing right there beside me, almost like he was there with me. And the only thing that could have made this any better is if he was actually there. Being in that balloon on that day truly made me feel like I was that much closer to him. I miss him so much. <laughs> <laughs>